Batman issue 71, Tom King writing with Mikhail Yannin and Jorge Fornes on the R. Uh, did it upset anyone else when, like, Babs is calling all the Bat family to come and see Batman because it's, like, you know, crisis mode? And yeah. Rick Grayson's like, yeah, that's not who I am. Like, don't remind me of this. Yeah, but I feel like that's the point. You know what I mean? Like, it was meant to upset us. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know about that. I think they were supposed to feel sad. I don't think we were supposed to feel annoyed. Uh, see, I, I do. That might just be me imposing. We're not imposing. What, what's the talk of it? Like the projecting. Projecting. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. Weird. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that that sucked. But I love that that Babs has become the the go to member now. She she now feels that yeah. Gone. Now that Dick's gone, she feels like the elder kind of the yep. oldest kid. So, yes, e- even though they're playing her the teenage stuff in her own book still. Well, not teenage. She's well, like college. She's college. No, no, she is, but a lot of it feels like the teenage drama. Is what I mean. Oh, I don't know if I agree with that. Yeah, that's a bit of a stretch. She, she was, she was volunteering at a uh, for for uh, a uh, local yeah. politician. Yeah, I know she, I know she politician. was. There we go. And she had a Political company. Ways. She had her own company yeah. that was successful. And, and I being... know it still often feels like a teenage drama. I don't. I don't agree with that at all, Connor. But. To each their own. Yeah. Um, but no, I, I do like this because it fits in with the whole, you know, because she's older than Dick, right? Yeah. Like, is that still, uh, you know, so she was kind of, she wasn't exactly a sidekick like Robin, but she worked with Batman, I feel, you know. Um, but but no, I liked, here, here here's a shocker. I actually liked this issue. Oh. Like, I'm, I think I'm like, is a back to like Batman. Did, did, yeah. did, you didn't hit the last issue, did you? No, but I didn't yeah. like it. Like it was fine. This one, I'm like, oh, okay. This is this is interesting because, and I'm sure King will pull the rug out from under me. Um, but the way that this read, where it feels like it's two, it's almost like it's two different realities, and like Batman's got like a, a, a schism going on. You know, like he's he's living in both. Well, I mean, this, this is how I describe it. Basically, what King's doing with this run is he's doing Nightfall, but it's not physical; it's mental. Right. Yeah. Uh, and this issue is kind of the and, one, and, and not as good. And no. I've never read Nightfall. So ar- arguably not as good. Um, yeah. But like th- this issue is, you know, he calls all the Bat family. He, he, he changes the red signal in the sky, and Babs like hears, you know, because Gordon comes in complaining about, ah, that asshole, you know, we, we're not in good terms. You shouldn't be here. And Babs like, I'll red... dare him come to my building. Yeah, and she's like red signal, and she's like, okay, right, take me to rally the troops, and she calls everyone, and. Um, yeah. You know, like, the, who, who can show up shows up, and it became, it almost, like, he's like, no, we're going to storm into Arkham, we're going to do this, and everything's fine, they go into Arkham, and it's like, no, it's running, business is normal, no one's escaped, like, you know, the the, the nurse or whoever who's sitting, standing there is like, no, nah, what's, 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 what's wrong? <laughs> why, why are you here? Which, which, family? which makes me think the whole last issue, what the hell was going on? No, it's it's interesting because I I think it's very clearly implied here at the end because uh, we we have these two stories going at the same time where Bane came to the mansion with uh with you know uh-huh. Thomas Wayne, and you know Batman gets so upset that he knocks food out of Alfred's hand and all that and at the end when they're like no Alfred didn't see your father and you know it didn't sound like Bane actually came to the house or if he did right. you know like like it seems like Alfred's just concerned about Bruce like he's acting you yeah. know crazy. Uh, so yeah. it sounds like he's properly like he's went off the deep end here, and he's not in his right mind. And when they bring up Catwoman, like he yeah. he he dexed him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, he had it coming though. <laughs> what? Hey, hey, let me help you, or let us help you. And oh yeah, that does that deserves a punch in the face. No, I know. I just I said it to be funny. Um, Do I have a question? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why, why is Huntress here? Because Dick Grayson couldn't be. But seriously, I can't remember the last time I saw Huntress interact with any of the Bat family. It, it might be the the the, right. the Dick Birds Grayson spiral stuff. Uh, no. A little bit of Birds of Prey, I suppose. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All the Birds of Prey. Yeah, well, she yeah, was yeah, there yeah the whole time. A little bit. Yeah, that count. You know, but that was very separate from. Uh, I mean, the Bat family. The Bertinelli, here's here's how I'm going to rationalize it: is the Bertinelli crime family? She she's come back and she's been in Gotham operating. You know. To, sure. to keep that, you know, to keep that under wraps. Um, but I, I really just feel like they needed an extra member. They couldn't have Catwoman, right? 
She's often yeah. near Hermosa. Batwoman yeah. is busy because we see her. That, that's it's... the one that I thought yeah. too. Was like, why not swap Batwoman for Huntress? Because you could have easily had her. Well, no, I'm busy. Mm. You know. Yeah. And then have Batwoman be there because it really is just a role where she's standing there. Is, Maybe is that Kate supposed to be Luke Fox saying no. Yeah. Okay. That's Fox. I couldn't see enough of them to tell for yeah. sure. And no, 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 you know, distinguishing features. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that full page spread though, where they're all jumping off the roof together, looks really nice. Yeah, well, I like my favorite page in the side book is the the double page of them on the rooftop, the and just the, the 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 gap between Batman and the rest of them. Yeah, like that's that that's that's cinematic storytelling, right there. Yeah, I wish I wish I hadn't seen that like a hundred times on Twitter before I read it, but yeah, yeah I didn't. So when I got to that page. <laughs> It hit. Uh, is um, is anyone else finding the art swapping really jarring? No, because again, I feel like it's meant to create this schism of of almost two different realities that Bruce yeah. is living. In. Yeah, this I is... get that come the end of the uh, end of this, but just when I'm reading it, it felt it never it never bothered me. I because especially when you get to the kind of like the context of it, and it's like. The stuff that the Batman's on his own, or he's with Bane, and he's in the mansion, all that stuff may not really be happening, or it's happening, but Bane's not actually there. And no, no, I get it. that's what I mean. It's it. There's context for it by the time you get to the end of the issue. But as I was reading through it, I I was really disliking the way it was. Just you know, the the double page spreads. If you have a double page spread with it at the table into the double page spread on the roof, and uh, I found it like just really jarring and. Uh, it kept taking me out of it. I uh, I loved the scene where after you know Bane's been at the mansion and Alfred like's picking he's picking Bruce up and Bruce is all beat up. He's, he basically ends the, yep. the page with saying, "Sir, you've lost this time. Yep. For maybe the first time you've truly lost because um, yep. you're broken right now." Um, and I used that word. I, I chose that word carefully because yep. he is. He's broken. That's kind of the point. That's what he says. Yeah, that's he's what broken. Alfred you. says at the end. Yeah, that's the last. And. Oh man, I just this this is what leads to Zernar, people. You want Zernar? That's how you get broken, Batman. <laughs> right? Since we're in purple and yellow and and red, you know, it because so. it, 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 it makes me excited. It makes me excited that the, the, the comeback, yep. you know, where Bruce realizes what what is going on with yeah. them, where he this comes is, self aware of this. Yeah, and in, in the hero's journey cycle, this is the belly of the whale. This is where he's at his lowest. Yeah, and he can. Oh, there's only one place to go, and that's straight on up. And um, I have to imagine, like, City of Bane starting at 75 is going to be kind of the... Like, maybe he'll have his moment before the end of this arc, but yep. City of Bane is going to be the rise of, like, him kind yep. of becoming the bat again. Mm-hmm. But yeah. No, I like how ethereal it all kind of feels. Because it all still feels like a dreamscape. But it actually means something, unlike the other ones mm-hmm. uh, that we were forced to read. Right? Over, over those four months. So, you know. But But yeah. No, I really enjoyed this issue. No, I this like is, this issue as well. I, I mean, I, for the I, first time I, in a long time. I have typically liked everything King's done with Batman and Bane. I just that that break for night uh, for nightmares was mm-hmm. was rough. Um, yep. And it's not that there was never a weaker issue before that. There was here no. or there, but for the most part, I like what the overall run is doing. Yeah, yeah. I like the coloring. I'll say that too. Oh yeah, the coloring on those Janet pages where it almost yeah. feels neony. Like, or there's like a haze in the air. Like, yeah, I do like that. You know, the you can see the glow around the neon signs, and there's yeah. an actual glow. Like, like yeah, yeah it's yeah. quite, it's it's quite nice. Uh, also, that last page where it's like half like him with the family when he punches Tim, and then the the, 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 the shatter. Yeah, the shatter is it's very it's very unbreakable, very split. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, which might even be an intentional reference <laughs> for for like I know. glass. Yeah, gotta get the last one in there. Like glass, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, maybe it splits the one that you can put it to the most, or the idea that he's fractured, kind of thing. Yeah, uh, that makes the most sense. But no, no, no. Uh, no, I like this issue of Batman. Um, mm? You know, admittedly, it was rough for a few months there, and it's so it's not necessarily quite climbed up to being like one of the most exciting things to read. You know, it wasn't the first thing I read no. this week. There was a few other things that I wanted to get to first, but I it was solid. I- I read it first to get it out of the way because I mean I only had three books, so <laughs> I thought, all right, I'll read that first, and then I've got yeah. two things that I'm looking forward to after. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's usually what I do. Like, in hindsight, maybe I should have sandwiched it in the middle, but 
Yeah. Yeah. That's the... yeah. So, uh, what what we give Batman? I'm giving it an eight. Connor, you got a five. I will also give it an eight. I think I think an eight's a fair score for this issue. Mm-hmm.